Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I figured I would show you guys a couple things. Um, first is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I actually went shopping to yesterday, but for you guys, it's going to be two days from now. Um, I literally just got done filming Roxy's weekly challenge, and that's a 45-minute challenge. So I wanted to break this apart into a second video. Um, so the first thing I got was a nice clean placemat because I really like the placemats. They're pretty and I can flip them over. I can use this side. I can flip them over and have the pretty side, you know, whatevs. So there's, a, there's that. And then I found these. I was like, what? So I got two of this, this kind, and we've got the mermaids with the stars and the narwhals and i don't know what that is but that is cute it looks like a kitty cat mermaid like the mermaid got herself a key cat mermaid that is too cute and then this is the other side i like they're just they're just adorable look at the sea turtle and I figured these would make really, really fun journals. And it's very different from the journals that I normally make, which are kind of on the shabbier side of things. Um, but I really like fantasy. So I really want to make a couple fantasy books as well. Um, and although some of them that I have made have definitely been more shabby styled, I think this will be really, really, really fun to do. So I did get two of these. They only had two. Um, and then they only had one of these. So I got just the one. But this one, I'm not sure if she's going to fit on a cover or not. She looks a little big, to be honest. But even that part is really pretty. Um, let's see. My covers are normally about nine inches tall. All right. So that's nine inches right there. And that is, yeah, that's the top of her head. So it's really not that bad. It would come just to the bottom of her tail. Now, if we come up a little bit like that, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out, but that's definitely going on a cover. I will figure out how. I don't know how. But I'll figure it out. Mermaid at heart. Like, this is just too cute. And then we've got two more. One here. We've got some pieces to go with it. And then we've got another one here. Like, I mean, how cute is that? I love the coloration in these. It's just, it's really, really cool. And I'm pretty excited to get started on some fantasy books. Um, like I said, I've got, uh, I've got some shabby books up there. And um, normally, as soon as I post them, you know, a couple of them kind of go. Uh, I posted one, actually, I posted four, five, four, four, five, four. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> one of them sold like within five minutes but that's sort of that's normally how it is with a lot of things that i'm doing um i won't sell out but i'll sell like as soon as i post it somebody's gonna be like "Ooh, beady which i really like so thanks <laughs> um so i found these and i got two of these there was a bunch of these but they they just kind of screamed spring for me and again i kind of want to venture out and do, I really, really, really love doing the shabby, but I do want to venture out because shabby is not for everyone. And I understand that. So, um, I want to try to do some other things too. Now, my look, um, I'm going to take these, I'm going to incorporate them in my work and it's going to end up shabby, <laughs> but that's okay. So, um, I just have my other mat over here kind of hanging out. <laughs> Um, and I got some more dots, but I got these because the colors, like those colors are just super cool. And I like these dots too, because they're pretty flat and I got four of these and yes, I left some on the shelf, but look how flat these are. Like these are, these are super tiny. Like they might be a millimeter in height maybe 
And that's a big maybe. You know what? <laughs> I have something that'll tell me exactly how tall they are. Because, because I'm a beater, because I make jewelry, I have this tool that's going to tell me exactly how tall or how wide something is. So, um, we're just going to take the, and it's just on clear acetate. We're just going to take it. We're going to squish it. We're not going to squish it, squish it because we want it to be accurate. It is 1.7 millimeters can y'all see that 1.7 millimeters that is tiny so like i said this would be absolutely perfect for pretty much anything because they're very flat and the colors are really really cool i might have to go back and get some more because i have never seen these colors before normally when i see these they're the bright orange red green you know stuff like that but not like this this these colors these these colors are my jam man i love the lighter pastel -y colors so like I said, I got four of them. I will most likely, I have to go back anyway because there's something that I buy from the Dollar Tree um, for my house and it's it's syrup for my coffee, but it's it's uh, calorie free. Um, there's no, um, it's, I'm pretty sure it's artificial sugar, um, but it's, um, it has zero calories in it. So I, I can drink the whole bottle if I wanted to. I don't, obviously. But I can only find it at the Dollar Tree. I haven't been able to find anything like it anywhere else. Anyway, I have a very special project in mind for this. And I'm going to see if it doesn't work. Hopefully it will work. Um, but I got this with a very special project in mind. Uh, and I've never seen them before. I don't know what the kick with unicorns is lately. But there are unicorn stuff everywhere i got a dish soap dispenser that was a unicorn i literally only got it because it was a unicorn that's it because i'm very particular about the soap that i use um because i honestly i think i'm allergic to something in um regular soap um what's it called uh it's a very popular um thing i don't know why i'm taking this out but it's a very popular uh, substance in soaps and now I can't think of what it is um, but anyway it, it just like it dries out my hands real real bad like you guys can't see it luckily the camera doesn't pick up how just how dry my hands are right now um, but anyway this is floral wire um, this is 1.8 millimeter in diameter um, and uh, I believe just from looking at it, it's a 16 gauge wire. It might be 14, but anyway, I want to play with it. I like the color. I want to play with it. I want to see what I can do with this. So that's why I got that. I also got uh, acrylic paint. I just got simple, basic white because I want to see what it does. I want to see how it reacts to the different things that I use paint with. I am not an artist as far as painting goes. I am not a painter. I literally just play with paint on paper and I mix it together with other things that probably shouldn't be mixed with paint. And yeah, um, so I just want to see if it will work for me because if I can get this for a dollar, I mean, it's pretty good because even at Tuesday morning, um, their paints are decently pricier than a dollar for eight or for three ounces. So there's that. Um, I got a couple books because I am on Miss Gail's Patreon and she is doing another altered book. And oh my gosh, every time she does an altered book, I get so inspired to do an altered book myself. And I'm just like, I want to do it. So what did I do? I grabbed some books because she has said that several, several times that the Dollar Tree books are by far the best books to alter because of the structure of the books 
So we didn't have like a huge book selection, but that's okay because I didn't need to get a thousand books. Um, it does take me a long time to do the altered books. Hopefully I can get the process to come down a great deal and put them out a little bit quicker than once every six months. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, um, so this originally was $23. I have no idea what this book is about. My husband, <laughs> I didn't even read the title. You know what I did? I went over in the craft aisle. I grabbed a ruler and then took it over to the books and I started doing this number. <laughs> Like, yep, okay, uh-huh, yep, 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 you, uh, yep, you're okay, you're, you're not too wide, nope, you're too long, next. <laughs> and that's how I ended up with a couple of books. Now, I did get four books total, I think I got four, no, I got two, four, six, I got six books total. I got four, these are the books I've got. I'm sitting here trying to show you guys from across the room and it's working out wonderfully i'm sure so i got three that are standard size this one's a little bit bigger these are a little bit bigger spines but not by much um this one is a thinner spine so i think that it'll be easier to alter so i'm probably gonna start with that one to be honest with you um but these are the ones that i got that were a little bit bigger they're more like standard size. Um, I might have to read these first. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize this, but this one's got like torn edges and imagery. What? Oh my gosh, this is cool. I didn't even look at the book. I am not lying. I went to the ruler and was just measuring. I wasn't paying attention to what was on the covers. Or the insides, for that matter. This book is really cool looking. Um, it says it's Vertigo. Why does that sound familiar? This was originally $23. Okay, I'm going to have to read this first. Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to read this first. Yeah, that one's going to get set aside. Um, and I'm reading this before I tear it apart. This one is the one that got away. Mm, no idea. This one is $26 or $15 or a dollar from the Dollar Tree. Now, these papers are kind of thin um, and lightweight. I do like those. And soft. Like, it's just soft to touch. Um, so I don't know what that one's about. This one is three date. So anyway, he was looking at the title and he was looking at me like I was crazy. He's like, what did you buy? It's like, do you really want to know what I'm doing with these books? And he was like, after reading that title, yeah, it's like, I'm tearing them apart and I'm making journals out of them. He's like, oh, well, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> um, but I might have to read that one though. Uh, it just says that it's award-winning author of Blood Wedding. No idea what Blood Wedding is, but it sounds very interesting. And then I got a couple smaller ones because I wanted to see what they would, um, what they would be like to have an altered book that's smaller. So this one is, uh, Jeffrey Eugene, I don't know, Fresh Complaint is the name of this one. Ooh, that's neat. Look at that. What? That's really cool. Hmm. That's neat. I wish I could figure out something to do with that. I might have to uh, do some playing around or uh, something. I don't know. This one's called Old School. This one's a lot smaller as well. It's both smaller in size this way. Like my hands. Um, I used to wear a size 7, but I have no idea what my hand is now. So... Because my rings kind of fall off. I've already had to take my diamonds off completely. I can't wear them anymore. Except for my engagement ring. But there's that one. And then this one is called The Evenings. This one's also a much smaller one. can hold it in your hand. But yeah, I wanted to try it out and see how it would be with the smaller ones. Um, 
like if I liked them better, I don't, I don't know. And they're easier to gauge because I can just pick it up like this and be like, yeah, that's, that's perfect. But I can't necessarily do that with these. These are a lot harder. <laughs> I think I can't do that with those. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to read this one though. This other one. Oi. All right, go over there. All right. What else you got? Okay. So this is the whole reason that I went to the Dollar Tree to begin with was to see if I could find these guys right here. And I did, I found them. Um, and they're super cute. I actually have some ideas with these. Um, they're not a planner. So just in case uh, anybody was out there wondering uh, if the Dollar Tree happy planners were actually happy planners, they're not. They're just notebook um, paper with four little rings and it does have the laminated sheets on both sides. It is very hard laminated sheets. Um, I think it's a really nice product for a dollar. You get a lot of writing right here and you could use these for other like other entries. And that is really thick paper. Like that's really thick paper. And that's a really ugly orange, by the way, but I'm just saying. Um, now you might be able to use if you have the happy planner punch you might be able to use the punch and use this like as a template this guy here not entirely sure but you could definitely use this as a template for other things like i said i've got some ideas with these uh and i got a couple of them and so that's actually it as far as that goes. Um, I actually lost my receipt. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to find that. Anyway, so as promised yesterday, I was going to go over with you guys how I ended up getting the coloration on these papers that I got. This nice, really pretty brown color. Um, and it's on pretty much everything that I did yesterday uh, basically i just i painted i lined with parchment paper i painted again and i just kept doing that until this basket was completely full now the painty papers are the last things that i did uh, because i saw roxy's newest video for her week to design or her week to prompt which was painty papers and i was like do i have painty papers uh and then i found some and so that's where it started. And then before that, I was literally painting on anything and everything. All of this stuff is a very happy accident. So this is what happened after I painted it, if you will. And this is what it was before. Okay. I hope y'all can see the difference there. Okay. And then this, I don't have a before for you, but that's what it looks like. This is, um, these are napkins that I have put on eight by f or eight by eight various papers. Some of them are graphic 45s, graphic 45, as you can see here. This one is from, uh, Mon Amour collection. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with this collection, but it's very dark, bold colors. Yeah, most of graphic 45 are very dark bold colors i mean like that but yeah so i just kind of and like here here you can see it really well because this napkin is a white napkin with just the flower and the butterfly that's it and so i actually covered this and made that this was the leftover rice papers that um I was using on the tags the first day of the challenge and so and these they were already out so i figured why not use them so i used separate pieces and more napkin more napkin more rice paper uh this was just from i didn't do anything with that these are just some extra pieces that I didn't really want to glue anymore because I had already put it away. Um, and this was from the first day. We didn't use all of them. So 
I just uh, did those. But I, and this is a white sheet of paper. Like that's the difference. Can you see that? That's the difference. Okay. So here is what I did. All right. Um, I'm going to take all of this and I'm just going to do a couple scraps here to show you. But like I said, this was a happy accident. Okay. Um, I realized when I was, I had bought in the past a product, um, and it was a stain. And I realized that there was something else in it other than water and a stain. Because when I used a brush on it, the next day, my brush was so hard, I had to throw it away. So I knew that there had to have been something in there such as glue. And so I was like, what is that? And anyway, I'm going through and I am putting um, stuff on papers like we always do, right? And I'm using my watered down Mod Podge. It's not regular Mod Podge. It's watered down Mod Podge. So it's really, really thin. Then I noticed that one of my... Um, one of my papers had dried and I felt it and I was like, Ooh, that's, that's really familiar. What is that? And then it dawned on me. That was the same feeling of the paper after it dried that I had stained. So this is my Mod Podge. And instead of putting water in it, I put coffee water in it. You know how we make coffee water to stain our paper, right? Well, I did the same exact thing. I was like, what am I doing here? So I did the same exact thing, but I just put it in my Mod Podge and that was it. So I'm going to take this and I'm literally just going to paint it all over the place but anyway like i said i just wanted to show you guys how i got that color um and because it's a super easy process i came across it on accident and i just wanted to share with you guys it's really really easy and fun and especially if you already have the means to do coffee dyed paper meaning you have the instant coffee and while well, you have water <laughs> You can use Elmer's glue and water. You can use any school glue. If you use Dollar Tree school glue, you may not need quite as much water because Dollar Tree school glue is really, really watery anyway. Um, but they do also have Mod Podge there. So um, if you're getting your glue from Dollar Tree, I would say just go ahead and grab a thing of Mod Podge because you can water it down. And um, it's really great for coating things for like napkins and stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, um, oh yeah, don't forget to like subscribe and, um, share the video. I always forget to say that. Uh, but anyway, you guys have a wonderful night and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye guys.